we're gonna talk about where to start when you're decluttering. There are a lot of different opinions on this, <laughs> whether it's Marie Kondo or, oh, who else is there? The home edit. Everybody has a different opinion on where you should begin when you're ready to start this decluttering journey. The real answer is a little bit deeper than you might expect. It's probably the number one question that I get and I think other professional organizers get too. And even people in the minimalism community, which is where do I start? Which I think is a reasonable question to ask, especially if you're just starting out, you've really come to the end of your rope, you're fed up with all the clutter and the mess and you're overwhelmed by it all. You really want somebody to tell you step by step what to do and where to begin. Honestly, I think sometimes we ask that question because we're procrastinating a little bit, because we're scared. <laughs> it's a lot of work that's ahead of us, a lot of decisions, it's gonna take a lot of energy. And while if you watch my video on the five steps to organizing, it is simple, but it's definitely not easy. So I think procrastinating a little bit is normal. But really, whether you start in the bathroom or with your closet, there's no wrong place to start. <laughs> but I would challenge you to pause. I know like you might feel like the rage decluttering coming on, but I would challenge you to pause, take some deep breaths, and then start here, which is asking yourself, why? Why do you want to get organized and reclaim your space? When the going gets tough, when you're feeling tired, when you have a lot of decisions to make and you're feeling that decision fatigue, you're gonna need a really solid reason to come back to. And if your reason is to have a better looking house or to impress visitors or to not feel embarrassed by the mess, you might wanna dig a little bit deeper to something that will really keep you going. So channel your four year old and ask yourself why five times. So start with the initial thing that comes to mind and then keep asking why. You might start with, I want my house to be easier to clean. Well, why? Well, I want to have more time to spend doing other things. Why? Well, I spend 90% of my time cleaning and I would really rather be doing fun activities with my kids while they're still little and while they're growing up. Why? So that when they're grown, they have fond memories of their childhood and they remember me being fully present with them and not stressed out by all the chaos and clutter around. Whatever your initial reason is, keep asking why at least five times to get down to a much deeper core why for getting organized and decluttering and really starting this whole simplifying journey. And then once you find that core why, that's what's gonna keep you going when the going gets tough. While we're talking about whys, I have an older video that is about why you can't get organized and I'll have a link to that down below. I hope you'll subscribe for more tips and videos like this. Check out the Decluttering 101 playlist for more beginner tips and tricks. And leave a comment below, what is your why for beginning this journey or continuing this journey if you're already on it. And with that, I will see you next week. Yes, these are real, in case you are wondering. Okay.